In this video, I will show you how to install the Switchroot Android 11 on the OLED. Let's get started. So this is a mother Zelda TOTK console. When I turn it on, it boots to Hecate. Before installing the Android, we better inspect and backup the SD card content unless you are doing it for the first time. So press tools and select partition SD card. I've set up the MUMMC as an SD partition, so you can see that I have a red bar on the SD card map. If you only see a green bar, you may not have the MUMMC or have set up the MUMMC as SD files. You might have previously set up an Android partition if you see an orange bar. Let's assume you have the MUMMC as an SD partition, and you want to keep everything intact. Let's back up the whole thing. If you have never set up the MUMMC or have it as SD files, jump to minute 2.15 and start from there. Get back to the tools page, and click backup eMMC. Then click the SD MUMMC raw partition option. Click SD MUMMC boot 0 and boot 1. Close the page, then click SD MUMMC raw GPP. Be aware that this process will take a long time to finish. Make sure your console has enough juice to complete the task. Now close the page. We will copy the SD card data to a computer. There are two methods to do this, either using the Hecate's USB tools or traditionally using an SD card reader. In this video, I will use an SD card reader. Before getting to the next step, let's download an Android 11 image file. If you prefer an Android TV version, please choose the top one, but I use the tablet version in this video. This is the downloaded Android 11 image file. I put it on the desktop. And this is the console's SD card content. Create a new folder on your computer and name it anything. I name it Backup. Then select everything inside the SD card. Press the control key and drag it into the backup folder. Reinsert the SD card into the console. We will repartition it. Select tools, then select partition SD card. On this screen, press OK. Now you need to know your current MUMMC partition size. I set it to 12GB. Now allocate at least 16GB for the Android partition. I set it to 32GB. Press next step. Press start. Then press the power button. On this screen, press OK. Then remove the SD card. As you can see, by repartitioning the SD card, we lose the original content inside it. Now we have to copy the backup data into the SD card. Open the backup folder, select the content, press the control key, and drag it into the SD card. Now close the backup folder. Now open the backup folder inside the SD card, enter the alphanumeric folder, right-click the Restore folder, and select Open in New Window. Enter the MUMMC folder and move its content into the Restore folder. Now you can close the Restore folder. Get back to the root of the SD card. Double-click the Android 11 image file and drag its content to the SD card. Reinsert the SD card into the console.
Select Tools. Choose Restore EMMC. Click the SD MUMMC Raw Partition. Select SD MUMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. And press the power button to proceed. Close the page. Now select SD MUMMC Raw GPP. And press the power button to proceed. Press the close button twice. Press the home button and select the NYX settings. Make sure both Joy-Cons are attached to the tablet. Click them Joy-Con BT. Press OK. Close the page, then click Tools. Select Partition SD Card. Press OK. Then click Flash Android. And select Continue. Again, select Continue. On this screen, select Factory Reset. Choose Format Data or Factory Reset. Select Format Data. Next, select Format System Partition and choose Yes. And then go back by clicking the arrow button. Choose Apply Update. Select Choose from Switch SD. And then select the Android image file. If you are prompted about a failed signature verification, simply press Yes. Go back by pressing the arrow button. Choose Reboot System now. Select More Configs and choose Lineage OS. And go ahead setting up the Android system to your preferences. Select the Home Menu app. I chose the Console Launcher. And there you go. You are running Android on your console now. To get back to Hecate, press the Power button and choose Power Off. and press the power button again to boot it up.
to reload the Android environment, choose More Configs, and choose Lineage OS. To run the console's custom firmware, press Launch and select either Resist MMC or the MU MMC. So that is how we set up and run Android on the modded NX console. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like it.